I would want my students to remember the, I guess the smile on my face when they answered something that was just wonderful. And I would want them to remember that um, I pushed them hard, and, but we had a good time at the process and they learned so much. I would want them to remember that. My maternal grandmother had taught at Lane College in Tennessee back in the early 1900s. She inspired me to become a teacher. Very nurturing person, always there for us and taking care of our needs. I come from a family of nurturers and which is probably why I went into education. Painting, it's relaxing for me. Believe it or not, painting is like chess. Uh, trying to make sure the colors are just right, uh, taking, making an object and turning into what you want it to be. I decided to become an educator in high school. My mother was very involved in her own education, actually, um, completing her college degree pretty much the same time that we did. Just to see her work so hard and develop her skills while working, attending college and working full time and trying to manage her own five children uh, just really pushed me to want to become an educator. Making sure that the students understand that they need to work hard in order to be successful and giving them role models to emulate they can achieve their goals. I started Special Friends Extended at Fairview Elementary School in the Jennings School District in North County. And it began with just teachers mentoring students in the building. During lunch period, uh, we would get together after school with a, a mentor and the mentee student and um, do various activities after school throughout the school year. And from then, I decided, well, let's include the entire school so I invited professionals from the community to come out to mentor the students, to talk about their profession and the struggles they had in their own careers or in life. And so the program began. I would want students to remember me as an educator that cared about them and that we had fun. We had a pizza party every month for those students that were fight free, making sure the students stayed on task a lot of the students in our district coming from uh, maybe one parent who was working and they needed role models and may not understand what a lawyer may do or uh, a photographer may do. So having someone come in and talk to them about their career and educate them on how many years of experience you need or you need a four-year degree would be beneficial for them to know what to expect and would motivate them and give them something to look forward to, a goal that they could reach. I started the mentor program so they could see people in the community that were working hard, not just basketball players they saw on television, regular people working hard to take care of their families, get their education and, and make money. And oftentimes the students, when the mentors would come in, they would ask them, well, how much money do you make? <laughs> they understood the importance of making money and that, that motivated them. Well, my daughter's a doctor, oh. so if you ever want to talk to her, you know. I want my she, to become an orthodontist, if not Or orthodontist. And I was told that in time, we had less students fighting in our building. And I think partial, partially it was due to uh, the Special Friends Extended Program. The mentee was chosen by the classroom teacher if the student needed a little bit more attention from a, a role model, an adult, they needed to know that somebody cared for them. And so that's why they were chosen, to work with a mentor. Staff, parents uh, still talk about Mrs. Cousins at Fairview Elementary. Upon her retirement, uh, what she left uh, was a playground in which the kids at Fairview, primary as well as intermediate, had a safe playground in which they could play on. And she also uh, contributed to the library at Fairview where she ensured that adequate furniture was provided, where kids would come to the library and comfortably read. When I think of Holly, Holly indeed has left uh, a tremendous footprint here in the Jennings School District. When I think about people that have been beneficial in helping me with 
the mentor program as an example would be my husband. Uh, I don't think he ever missed a session. Definitely like to thank him for all he's done. And I'd like to thank my children too. I think in the beginning stages when I went out and purchased all these toys, I think the first or second time they were there with me buying incentives for the students whose grade point average was C plus or higher in the building and were fight free. So what I want to leave us all with, Holly, words that you would often share with other fellow educators. And those words followed me as well uh, here in the Jennings School District. The motto that you shared from your parents, and it was, if you can see it, you can be it. And I truly believe those words, and those words have resonated with me and many educators here in the Jennings School District. So again, Holly, we salute you and we thank you. Yeah. Call it. Yeah. Call it. It's not job. You know it. You know what I'm talking about. Oh, you know I know. I know you know. <laughs> yeah, you're one right. of the best I ever seen. That's what it takes. Girl. That's what it takes. Girl. Just a desire, hard work, caring, and just you know, be a service. So that's yeah. what we that's say. It. Yeah. We doing that's service. That's for sure. Yes. So good to see young people like you doing such great things. Yes, so good. Trying to help the community become bigger. Absolutely, and that's what it takes. The next generation, you're the next generation.